Hi, it's Therese and it's time to Give Me Five with Penny Black and today it's One Image, Five Ways. Right, so I've got this Christmas Wishes stamp. It's a really beautiful girl, highly detailed stamp. It's a cling, red rubber cling stamp and I'm going to be using this stamp in five different cards today. I thought I'd sort of change everything up so the cards the main similarity with these cards obviously is the fact that I am using this image but other than that I've colored uh, in different mediums and I've done different um, card designs as well so the first card that I'm working on I decided to use the whole image not every card uses a whole image um, and I'm colouring her up with some Copic markers. I stamped this image out on some, this is a Nina 80 pound cardstock and I stamped it with my Misty using some Tuxedo Black ink and that's because that's Copic friendly. Actually this is the only image that I used the whole of the image on in the card. I wanted to colour her up in some really bright colours and I'll list all of those at the blog. I'll also have the lids off to the side here so you can see them. But if you head to my blog you'll be able to see a full list of supplies as well as some photos of all the cards that I've made and links to the products as well. So when I'm colouring a lot of images like this to sort of speed things up what I do is I do my basic coloring and then I'll come in and add some shading just with one color at the end. So when it's my Copics I usually come in with the toner. The T2 is my probably my go-to. I like the toner grays they're really nice but any of the grays that you have will probably work. I don't tend to go so much towards the cool grays. I don't know why. I um, They're not my friend. <laughs> I like the warm grays. I like the the toners and the warm greys, they're the two that I go to most. So I do some simple shading along the way and when I come to the face, the shading on the face, I like to use the BV20 but I don't like it today. <laughs> Look what happened. <laughs> oh my, I just, I just could have cried. <laughs> anyway, it was pretty much the last bit of shading that I was, well not quite the last bit of shading I was going to do. So I came in with my colourless blender and tried to remove some of the colour which really saturated the cardstock. So I had to wait for that to dry before I could um, think about what I was going to do. So I used my Copics again and I did come in with my pencils and that did save it I think. It looks okay. I was also considering actually recolouring the face on a separate piece of cardstock or even the whole head and then reattaching. <laughs> that would work too, I've done that before. Alright so I did stamp out, it's a butterfly image and it's from the Love Art stamp set and I did fussy cut both of those images out because I want to set them up on top of a background and I'm stamping a poppy pattern background on some Desert Storm which is craft cardstock basically and using some pigment, white pigment ink to do that. And I've popped up both of the images and I fussed around with the sentiment for ages and ended up doing a white embossed sentiment on black cardstock from the Love Sentiment set, attaching it directly to the front of my card. And one thing I did do with the image after I made that mistake was come in and make it a bit darker all over. I added some more T2 to the whole image almost. And I think that just helped tone the um, little mistake that I made on her face, shall we say. We'll never speak of it again. You may have noticed I've started on my second card now. I've got a piece of pink cardstock. It's quite bright pink and I've stamped most of the image with some onyx black ink this is a uh, pigment ink so it works really well with pencil colouring and also water colouring too. It's actually a really good all round ink and it's probably my one of my go to inks when it comes to black inks for sentiments in particular. It always has a really nice 
dark, crisp result when you stamp it out. The I decided to stick to the same colours here because I actually I don't struggle with colours. I shouldn't say that. I really enjoy colours, but I think maybe because I enjoy them so much, I struggle to choose. I have so many different ideas. So I thought with this pencil image, I thought I'd use the Prismacolor pencils that were similar to the Copic colours that I used on the previous design. And I like the idea of having the pink on pink here as well. And obviously these pencils are all listed at the blog post so you will have to head over there they're not I can't actually list them as I'm coloring and I have a mess a total mess <laughs> they were all over my desk I did come in and actually use a gamsol on this one too I don't often use a gamsol on colored cardstock but it wasn't blending as nice as I thought I just added a simple sentiment from the choose happy set and popped it on the front of a top fold card very clean and simple design. I'm back with my Copics again now and I've already colored half of the girl image in and this is almost like a monochromatic design this one well it is I suppose I decided to go for all my warm grays this time my Copic warm grays the W's and I'm also coloring a bird image which is from the joyful holiday set which is also another Christmas release set and I did fussy cut both of the images out, both her and the bird. I've die cut a rectangle uh, from one of the elegant stitching dies, about the third one in I think it was, to create a nice wide border. And I stamped out an elaborate background with some black ink on some grey cardstock and I didn't like it, it was too dark. I actually did like it but I think I still lost my images too much. So in the end I actually re-stamped it with some smoky grey and just attached it behind my window. Used the little word hello which came from the Smitten stamp set and I did have to selectively stamp that because it's only half of the sentiment. So this card just uses a part of the image. I decided just to Copic colour the basket itself and I did have to come in and actually draw in the rest of the handle. I used a Copic multi-liner to do that with and made a little 9x9 nine nine note card which is side fold, added a sentiment from the Tiny Treats stamp set and popped it up on the little square from the gift card pocket die set. I thought that'd be just a, light, a nice little gift card to give to someone or to go with a gift. That's what gift cards do. <laughs> Fancy that, who would have thought? Okay, I have my final card design here and today I'm making a watercolour scene. I have an envelope which I did stamp first. I had to mask that so I could make it look like she was holding on to it. And then I also stamped the envelope came from the smitten stamp set and then I added the post box and the little bird which came from the joyful holiday so I like being able to use my holiday stamp sets for things other than just holidays I this girl she's like and the name of this stamp is Christmas wishes I haven't made one single Christmas card using her <laughs> today out of these five designs I needed a break from Christmas cards and I'm assuming you guys probably do too. I don't know. Some people make them all year round. I'm very jealous of those people. I wish I could be one of those people. But no, I have the big rush at the end. So I did stamp her and the other images with some onyx black ink onto some Bristol Smooth cardstock. I have got it taped down to the board to the board, to a board, so that I will hopefully get less warping. Apparently it's meant to help. <laughs> I did have to come in with my Copic Multiliner again, which is waterproof, just in case you weren't aware of that fact. It won't bleed with watercolours. And I drew a snow line and also some extra snowflakes in. Well, they're little black triangles, really. But I drew them in because I wanted it to look... It looked kind of weird just having them around her and nowhere else. I'm painting the image using my die, die stress. <laughs> Struggling with words today, I'm so sorry. Distress inks. And I should have got a bigger brush here for the background. I um, 
didn't think of it at the time <laughs> and watching it now I mean that's what I should have done I couldn't work out why the color wouldn't go on very well I did change up the color of her dress this time because I wanted the post box to be red because it has to that's the law <laughs> these post boxes have to be red and I used to love these post boxes in England when I lived there they just made me happy <laughs> So anyway, it had to be red and I didn't want a pink dress, although I could have, with the red post box and the orange scarf. So this time I used the peacock feathers and made it sort of that blue green color. And I think once I added the green to the background and the red flowers to the basket, the whole thing came together better. I was not liking the colors before that at all. And this sentiment that I used, it just fitted perfectly in that space and it's from the love sentiment set and that's almost a one layer card almost but not quite so lots of different ways to use just one stamp today like this video if you like it and I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel I have a penny black video here every month I also share lots of other videos here and there's even more at my blog and the links will be below and here's a couple more links to some more videos that I've created. Happy paper crafting. Bye.